At this time, would you please stand for the presentation of colors and the singing of our national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets regaled, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. O say You may be seated. Good morning. Parents, families, friends, teachers, special guests, everyone in between, and of course, fellow graduates. We welcome you to the morning in which we will be celebrating the accomplishments of the class of 2018. Now, a little bit about us. My name is Isabel Bowen, and I was born and raised in Columbia, Maryland. I've never moved my entire life. I'm graduating here today with kids I've been going to school with since preschool. And my name is Blaine Asteris, and I was born in Ethiopia and moved an entirety of six times, starting from the frigid cold Rochester, Minnesota, to the unpredictable weather of Columbia, Maryland. And today, I am graduating with people that gave me some of the moments I'll be sure to cherish long after I'm gone. Oakland Mills gave me a way to continue my passions that were started at a young age here in Howard County, like dance, choir, and community service. It also gave me an outlet to try new things that I've never done before, like being on a varsity cheer team for four years or leading student-led <laughs> walkouts. As for me, coming from a year of trying to stay in a bubble, Oakland Mills gave me the opportunity and the encouragement I needed to get more involved, whether that be through student government, where I got to plan different events, or playing three years on, var on the varsity tennis team, I found a place where I could do all the things I had always wanted to do. And of course, I can't forget all the friends I've made, like Isabel over there, through participating in these various activities. Aw, thanks, Blaine. <laughs> And this is what Oakland Mills is all about. A place where people from all walks of life can come together and be united. We've been through it all. We've had a few fires. Except I think a few is an understatement. We've raised our voices. And we've banded together in hopes to make a change. And we've also had numerous accomplishments along the way. 
our determined boys basketball team won 18 out of 24 games and had a nine game winning streak this year. Our empowering women's basketball made it all the way to semifinals. Then we have our amazing track team made up of team members like Cameron Vereen, <laughs> who won states in outdoor track and holds a school record for the 100 meter. Our inspiring choir made it all the way to states by scoring all ones and had the honor of singing in the National Cathedral in Washington, DC. Our accomplishments wouldn't have been possible though without the people that supported us along the way. We are beyond lucky to go to a school where each staff member can have a personal connection with each and one, every one of us as individuals, not just a student body. So we want to say thank you to all of you who have dealt with our antics for these past four years. Now that we are here experiencing the day that we have been talking about since the moment we walked through those orange doors, it's our time to say goodbye to our high school career. I know for me at least it's very bittersweet. There are parts of me that want to run out of here as fast as possible and never turn back. But there are also parts of me that want to stay. Oakland Mills has really become a home for me and I know that many of you can say the exact same thing. For me, Oakland Mills in the class of 2018 was one that showed me what it looks like when a group comes together with a passionate purpose to achieve a common goal. I saw this repeatedly at the football games where we cheered our lungs out for our team and friends. I saw this at the pep rallies where we unapologetically let everyone else know who we were. And I saw this at the hallway nights where we tirelessly rallied together to get that first place. Regardless, the moments we've shared these past years not only embodied our passion, but more importantly, it illustrates our drive. And today, as each and every one of us walk across the stage with our diplomas in hand and get ready to embark on the next chapter of our lives, let us not forget this tremendous drive, for this is what makes us a special group. So class, fellow graduates, let us go out and find our voices, pursue our dreams, and prove we are not merely a generation stuck in the clouds. For as a wise man named Dr. Seuss once said, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Don't pay no mind to the deep. 
Good morning, family, friends, faculty, special guests, and especially the class of 2018. My name is Kyle Hefflinger, and it's my pleasure to introduce some of the special guests we have celebrating with us today. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Audience members, we respectfully request that you hold your applause until all the guests have been introduced. County Executive Alan Kittleman sends his regrets that he cannot be with us for today's ceremony, as his daughter is getting married. He sends his congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2018. Ms. Cynthia L. Valancourt, Chairman, Howard County Board of Education. Ms. Sandra French, Howard County Board of Education. Dr. Martin J. Martirano, Interim Superintendent, Howard County Public School Systems. Ms. Elaine Reed, Substitute Principal, Oakland Hills High School. <laughs> Ms. Christina Krabitz, Principal, Homewood School. Mr. Carl Schindler, Principal, ARL. The Honorable Guy Gazzoni, Maryland State Senator, District 13. The Honorable Vanessa E. Atterbury, Maryland Senate Delegate, District 12. The Honorable Shane Pendergrass, Maryland State Delegate, District 13. The Honorable Frank S. Turner, Maryland State Delegate, District 13. The Honorable Dr. Calvin Ball, Vice Chairperson of the Howard County Council, District 2. The Honorable Jen Terrassa, Howard County Council Member, District 3, and a graduate of Oakland Mills High School. <laughs> William Barnes, Chief Academic Officer. Frank Eastham, Chief School Management and Instructional Leadership Officer. <laughs> Rafiu Ihile, Chief Business and Technology Officer. Jahantab Siddiqui, Chief Communication, Community Workforce Engagement Officer. James Lamont, Executive Director of Community, Parent, and School Outreach. Dr. Theo Kramer, Community Superintendent. Jason McCoy, Performance, Equity, and Community Response Officer. <laughs> David Larner, Performance, Equity, and Community Response Officer. Ron Morris, Performance, Equity, and Community Response Officer. And Larry Cohen, former Oakland Mills teacher and Howard County Administrator. Thank you all for being here to show your support for the Oakland Mills High School graduating class 2018. My name is Grace Chavarini, and I would like to recognize our school administrators and staff. Ms. Betsy Coe, Assistant Principal. Ms. Stasha Swartz, Assistant Principal. Mr. Brian Wallace, Assistant Principal. Ms. Arnetta Young, Assistant Principal. I would also like to acknowledge our school counselors, Mrs. Kara Fick, Ms. Latia Douglas, Ms. Natalia Hart, Mr. Leo Quinn, Mrs. Donna Eukerman. I would like to recognize our class sponsors, Ms. Christine Van Norstrand. <laughs> Ms. Nicole Kaufman cannot be with us today, but sends her love and congratulations to the class of 2018. And lastly, the senior class teacher of the year, Ms. Amy Connor. Thank you for <laughs> Thank you for everything you have done for us. All right. To the people that raised me, a message from all of us. First of all, I'd like to thank you. I feel like you rarely get the recognition you deserve, but moments like these where a new chapter of our life begins are monumental as much for you as it is for us. I know and have partially been responsible for you being put through hell and back these past 18 years. In elementary school, some of us decided to play an instrument because everybody else was doing it. You sat, a, you sat through those excruciating practices that consisted of out-of-tune screeching on a string that was really supposed to sound something like Beethoven. You supported our attempt to be a musician as well as our decision to quit and stick with singing in the shower. In middle school, when athletic practices became more rigorous and routine, you hauled us back and forth to wherever we needed to be. 
you would sit on the sidelines and cheer us on even if we only knew how to run around in circles on the field. You even rocked the soccer mom van carrying half of our teammates to Rita's after a, after a tough loss. In high school, you let us practice parallel parking in your new car or your other favorite child. I could tell that you were nervous. Sweat was dripping down your face and your hands were gripping the side handles. A sigh of relief filled the air when you witnessed us park perfectly on our driver's test, earning us and you a newfound freedom. You worked hard to provide for us, for our future. You got us to school when we overslept and on special occasions writing a note saying our excuse was a doctor's appointment. <laughs> you went behind the scenes and tried to make our lives better regardless of whatever challenges we faced at home. And for some, this graduation is not your first rodeo, but your babies are growing up fast and we would be forever grateful for everything that you have done and will continue to do for us. This is not only for my parents, but for the guardians, siblings, relatives, best friends, and anyone who is sitting here, you are a part of this family. So here's to us. You need to, give, you need to be the, given the credit you deserve. Yes, this is our day, but let's celebrate the life you have given us and the accomplishments that led us here on our graduation day. Sincerely yours, the class of 2018. Now, every time I'm around the next speaker, I hear music. I didn't think it was possible to find somebody with, with such an eclectic mu music taste. When she writes, it's passionate and eloquent. And when she delivers it, well, you all are in for quite the treat. But first, let me reminisce and highlight some of her achievements. I remember reading a small excerpt she wrote for the Champions of Courage contest we all had to participate in for 11th grade English. She chose to write about her music teacher that she felt impacted her as much as Martin Luther King Jr. did. After reading the last words, I told her, you're gonna win this all. Of course, she didn't believe me because she is so incredibly humble. When she came home with, like, with that gigantic smile of hers, holding that winning certificate, I knew she would be going places. She is a strong, independent, quirky woman who has a gift for telling her stories through the stroke of her pen. In advanced composition class, she got clo we got closer and closer as I got to know her through her writing. I could see how much soul she put into her work. She has an aspect that many writers strive to have, the ability to make their audience emotional through the message she conveys. From that moment on, I knew she would be my motivating force for writing. Even through the emotional highs and lows that high school brought us, she kept everything moving. She has inspired through her words while writing for the scroll. She sang her heart out as a member of the chamber choir. She spoke freely as a leader of the Black Student Union. She represented the class of 2018 through student government. She's not afraid to express whatever art form she chooses. Regardless of the different paths we will take, I know that she is somebody that we can all rely on to give us a special piece of work that we will never forget. Now please, give a warm welcome to my girl, Sophia Lloyd. When I was younger, my mom always talked about the world like I wasn't living in it. Like the trees were made of plastic and the wind was just a simulation. Like, for some reason, every time I walked outside, I was submerged in some kind of protective shield, completely removed from everything around me. It was always, once you get out into the real world or in the real world, this is what happens. In my little mind, I thought of the real world as a far off magical land where things were different. My mom talked about it like there were fire breathing dragons, knights in shining armor, mythical potions, and things I could never even touch. In reality, it was just paying for things against your will, having too many responsibilities, and trying to build credit. <laughs> 
I've been climbing a ladder in the back of my mind to this very point, and I am so far from the ground, yet so much farther from the top. The future is changing to the now. Those big school assemblies where you could barely keep your eyes open with those important adults in fancy clothes ch chanting, you are the future, actually mean something now. They were right. We all have some kind of yearning, passion, hope or dream that has been festering and growing within us since we were young. We've changed it a million times. We've struggled to put our dreams into words, or maybe you are one of the few people who know exactly what you're going to do step by step. Either way, Oakland Mills High School has prepared us for the future and made us into products of great value, contrary to popular belief. We all know the thoughts that run through people's minds when we simply say Oakland Mills. The reputation that we hold in Howard County is not as favored as other schools. And that is what makes us incredible. The world tends to shy away from things that are different. And we, we are so, so different from any other community. We have learned amongst and from a diverse group of inspiring and talented people. We have blended together to make one big melting pot of inclusion and acceptance. We have an energy and a light that burns bright within us that we have been immersed in. The power and perseverance of our school was built to house such different, unique, and brilliant souls. It is our home. Many people confuse endings and beginnings, when truly endings are just an, an open door to something magnificent and new. Life has transfor transformed into a vast blue of uncharted waters, and if you are anything like me, you're scared, but you are so, so excited to dive in. There are so many places to explore, jobs to have, jobs to lose, passions to brew, interests to discover, people to meet, and dreams to achieve. High school will soon become nostalgia a warm feeling in the pit of your belly, the drives with your friends with the music blasting, the incessant trips to the mall and every single restaurant in Maryland, the pep rallies, the games, the crazy things you did, the school field trips, the people you surround yourself with, your favorite class, the lunch periods. The way your heart feels when you walk into Oakland Mills is going to change completely. Yet these years are not even close to the best years of your life. And those, those are only a few steps away now. I hope deeply in my soul that each and every person in this venue knows that our paths are perfectly paved, bumps and potholes included. Every choice, action, mistake, or accomplishment is going to lead us wherever we are meant to go. So no matter what, chase that passion. Do the thing you love even if there's no money in it or you won't find a job or whatever people tell you to make you stop. Do not stop, not for anyone or anything. Run so fast for it that you're out of breath and when you grab it, hold it tight and never let it go. I know the energy that is coursing through you right now. I know the way the knots feel in your stomach and how, hard, how heavy your heart is. This emotion I can't seem to articulate. That is the fuel that is going to shoot you right up that ladder into where you want to be. Passion leads you to your purpose and gives you power to help people. Spread love to others throughout your life the way Oakland Mills High School has taught you to. Take this diploma and use it as your non-refundable one-way ticket to that terrifying and pretty magical place called The Real World. Congratulations, guys.
Good morning, staff, students, invited guests, and the class of 2018. My name is Devon Torrey, and it is my honor to be speaking here today. In 2015, Ms. Elaine Reed retired from Oakland Mills High School after 30 years in education. She spent her retirement enjoying her time with her four kids and nine grandkids. But, much like a superhero, when she heard our cry for help, she was quickly on her way to save us. When an entire school is built upon the morals of respect, readiness, and responsibilities, it may be quite hard to find someone that fits all three of those molds. However, our substitute principal, Ms. Elaine Reed, was ready to take on the responsibility to lead Oakland Mills High School with surprising enthusiasm and respect to the entire community. Growing up in the hustle and bustle of Bronx, New York, Ms. Reed worked as hard as she could in order to succeed in life. Though not from rags and riches, things weren't simply handed to her. The words, a humble beginning, couldn't even begin to describe what the strong woman had to eventually overcome in life. However, she made it past her initial struggles and graduated from Queens College of CUNY. Settling in Maryland soon after, she obtained her master's in, in Western Maryland and her administrator certificate from Johns Hopkins. Being the strong-willed and positive woman that she is today, her most important belief is having meaningful relationships. When, it comes to, when anyone comes to her with a problem, she remains her positive self and makes the situation right. This comes from her logical mind, as she has a history of teaching math. Moreover, her goal as an administrator is to understand both kids and adults, aiming to be a teacher of teachers. Nonetheless, OM was simply a place she couldn't stay away from for long. The sense of community that the school exerts was something that could only be found here, and was something that Ms. Reed had longed for since attending a big high school back in her day. Her niche of drama and theater made her stand out all those years ago and was brought out during our pep rallies and school events in full force. Ms. Elaine Reed only wants the best for us in the end. Having the same wish for us as her own kin, she wants us, the graduating class, to follow our heart and passion and to not let anyone tell us no. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce Oakland Mills' substitute principal, Ms. Elaine Reed. The granny glasses. <clears throat> Welcome, parents, honored guests, family members, and especially the graduating class of 2018, because we are here to honor you. Now, I remember the day that you walked through the doors of Oakland Mills High School. Yes, I was there. You were bright-eyed and you were nervous, leaving the place where you were leaders of the school to step into the position of newbie, bottom of the totem pole, looking up to the seniors, wanting to be them. This year, you were the seniors. You are here because you earned it, it was a hard road from there to here. This journey demanded perseverance and hard work. Whatever the obstacles you encountered along the road to graduation, you overcame them. And I am so very proud of each and every one of you. Cherish and hold on to that feeling that you have today because it is this feeling of accomplishment that will help fuel your future successes. But you have not traveled this road alone. <clears throat> Behind every graduate is a cadre of people who cheered you on, helped guide you in the right direction, and celebrated your successes along the way. And they will continue to do so in the next, and in the next, and in the next milestone. It never ends. Graduates, you owe a debt of gratitude to those who have cheered and supported you on your journey to this moment. I want you to stand, turn around, and acknowledge your cheerleaders with a heartfelt, thankful round of applause.
Now, you've mastered your classwork, and you have a vision of what lies ahead. <clears throat> but I truly feel the most valuable life lessons were not learned in the classroom. Good sportsmanship does not come from your textbook. It's learned by experience from your coaches, fellow players, and friends who teach you that it is just as important to be a good loser as a good winner. We received the 24th Annual Sportsmanship Club Cup Award from the Howard County Public School System, system which exemplifies fair and generous treatment of others in sports. That's pretty amazing. <clears throat> from your teachers who encourage you to reach beyond your comfort zone and not be afraid to make mistakes. Mistakes are an important learning tool. <clears throat> what you can be sure of is that you will change, you will make mistakes, and you will grow up. Just accept that some days you're the pigeon and some days you're the statue. Then turn that mess into a message so that others may benefit and learn from it as well. <coughs> Think of the visionaries who were unaware of how close they were to success when they gave up. As an inventor, Thomas Edison made many attempts at inventing the light bulb. When responding to a question about the immense number of failures he had, Edison replied, I have not failed. I just found 10,000 ways that don't work. You persevere until you find that one way that works. <clears throat> what else have you learned? <clears throat> Empathy for others. Hashtag never again. And learning how to express it in a safe, orderly fashion when your beliefs seem contrary to the status quo. And to that I say, Become a joyful warrior. Fight for rather than against. Fight for what benefits all of mankind. Humankind. Sorry. The internet is just one example of this. The world is changing. <coughs> and it's hard, <clears throat> it's hard to keep pace with all the changes. And the internet is one example of this. Choose your words carefully, because words are more powerful than the hardest punch, and hurt more deeply than any physical wound. What you say about others says a lot about yourself. I am looking into the faces of the future of this country, and I have confidence in your abilities. I want you to find the courage to take those first steps towards your dream, even if you can't see the path ahead. You carve out that path. <clears throat> During your spring musical, <clears throat> Tarzan the musical, Tarzan said, have you ever met a family that isn't real? In our changing world, families take on different definitions. We are constantly, <coughs> thank you. I'm sorry. <coughs> we are constantly evolving, but you can't lose the rich. <coughs> you can't. <coughs> We are constantly evolving, but you can't lose the rich history of your past. <clears throat> they do take care of me. <laughs> Everyone has a story. Ask your questions about their history. <clears throat> Record them in your mind and on camera. I remember when my father used to say, he'd start a sentence with, when I was a kid, and immediately I'd be like, 
When I was a kid, ice cream was a nickel in Coney Island. Yeah, Dad. <clears throat> now it's a dollar. Oh. I said to my kids, when I was a kid, I remember when ice cream was a dollar, and now it's $4.79. And it's not even ice cream. It's like frozen yogurt. What is that? <clears throat> You're going to say... When I was a kid, I remember when frozen yogurt was only $4.79, and now it's, what, $26.84 for a cone? Really? Relish those moments, because you too will be part of discussions like that. <clears throat> what would you do if each morning your bank credited your account with $86,400? to be spent that day with no balance carried from day to day, what would you do? How would you spend it? You do have such a bank. Every morning that you wake up, you get a credit of 86,400 seconds. Every night it disappears. You can't store it or borrow it. You can only use it. You can invest it, so do so wisely. You can invest it in people. You can invest it in an education. You can invest it in helping the less fortunate because the returns on your investment are often intangible but life-changing. There is that intrinsic satisfaction that you get by helping others. James Rouse, the founder of Columbia said, the purpose of any civilization is to grow better people. Have that in mind as you use your deposits. <clears throat> as a class, you have heart and you are smart. We have many students attending colleges and universities, community colleges and trade schools, too numerous to list across our country from coast to coast, as well as Japan and England. I'm also proud of our graduates who are going directly into the workforce to pursue their careers. You are a necessary part of what strengthens the fabric of our nation. The class of 2018 has been awarded over $4,200,000 in scholarship money. We, yeah. We have four students who are commended from the National Merit Scholarship Program, 13 students who earned the State of Maryland Merit Award, top 5% of class. We have two seniors who are graduating with an unweighted 4.0 GPA. <clears throat> we have two students who earned a perfect score on the math portion of the SATs. <clears throat> We have 26 students recognized by the College Board as Advanced Placement Scholars for taking at least three or more AP tests, earning a score of three or higher. I especially want to thank, extend my heartfelt thanks and appreciation to our five young men and women who are choosing to enter our military in the Army, Navy and Marine Corps <clears throat> to protect to protect our inalienable right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Will they stand please? Now, you may not be aware of just how much we have in common. Let's start with the most obvious. <clears throat> We're both seniors. <laughs> but I get the discount. <laughs> Parents, I'm a prime example of the fact that they will always return home. But now it's time to leave. 
We are both embarking on a time of our life that is very scary because it means change. We will both be leaving a place we call home. There's comfort in returning to the place where we've grown socially, emotionally, and intellectually. I'm a prime example that you're never too old to learn. I learned from you that although we may have descended upon Oakland Mills High School from different places, we all want the same things. Asking students what makes Oakland Mills, Oakland Mills, there are several common responses such as community, school spirit, sports, teachers, everyone is valued. But the overwhelming number one answer is diversity. Learning from friends with different backgrounds and cultures, we all come with a story. Think about it. Diversity is the one thing we all have in common. Just think, next year when we return to Oakland Mills High School, we will have to sign in and get a visitor's pass. After 2.10, just like me, I hope you return with fond memories that bring a smile to your face, warmth to your heart, <clears throat> a tear in your eye. I hope that you not only make a living, but you make a life. I hope that you not only make a life, but you make a difference. I wish for you all that you wish for yourself and more. Stay safe, healthy, and remember to have fun along the way. <laughs> Mrs. French, Dr. Martirano. As substitute principal of Oakland Mills High School, I hereby certify that the graduates seated before you have all met the requirements for graduation set forth by the Howard County Public School System and the State Department of Education. They are eligible to receive a Maryland High School Diploma, Certificate of Completion, Certificate of Attendance, or Certificate of Achievement. Dr. Martirano. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I know you can do better than that. So well, it's great to see everyone. And I wanted you to see my bright orange socks as I want to start by saying to all of you, to the class of 2018, you're welcome. You're welcome because I'm the guy who makes the decisions to close schools uh, for inclement weather. Yes, yes. And you're, you're, you're very welcome this year because you got seven days that you don't have to make up and you even got a wind day in there as well. So you are welcome. To the entire Oakland Mills community, it's great to see you. And I want to start by saying, all of you, you look marvelous. And symbolically, you've been placed in the middle of this arena. Recognize the support of which is being provided to you today. All of your family, all of your loved ones, all of your former teachers, all of the community leaders up on stage with you symbolically in the middle of this arena because we care for you, we love you, and we are so proud of you. Your classmate, Sophia Lloyd, said, passion gives you the power to help people. Stand up, please. Acknowledge her for that. Passion, passion gives you the power to help people. And I only have a simple message today, a simple message. As you take your brilliant gifts with you, and as you leave this arena, 
I ask you, and I ask for a major issue in terms of this, a commitment that you will take your passion to help others, to help the lost, the left over, the least, and the forgotten. Always reach out your hand to help others and be warriors of kindness and care and compassion. And wherever you go, plant a seed of care. Always leave a seed of care wherever you go. And recognize that in a world that has a lot of hate and challenges, you're the ones who will change that. And always recognize that love will annihilate hate, and I want you to carry love in your heart everywhere you go. Young people, you make me so proud. I can't wait to give you your diplomas. I'm so excited, and I'm gonna get back to my chair so we can get on with the diploma giving. Thank you very much, and I'm so proud of you. So how does it feel to be first? Today, graduating, you're the first of 12, right? Didn't think of that, huh? Well, on behalf of the Board of Education, congratulations to the Oakland Mills High School class of 2018. It seems like only yesterday to your parents, but it was in 2005 that Howard County's class of 2018 began. Perhaps you were among them when 2,641 students, little guys, entered kindergarten. As you grew in size, you grew in numbers. Another 1,476 students joined you, a 56% increase. This year, about 4,117 seniors will walk down this stage to receive their diplomas and certificates. This week, you'll be receiving many graduation gifts from family and friends. But Howard County citizens have gifted you all along. Great schools like Oakland Mills don't just happen. They are created and sustained through the combined efforts of talented educators, engage students like you, involve families, and a community that not only values education, but also demonstrates that commitment by providing the necessary resources. So between 2005 and today, 169,481 dollars was invested in each one of you for your educational success. This is a wonderful tradition of our democracy that American citizens, both with and without children, support a free and public education for all children. Well, Oklahoma Mills graduates, you have used this gift wisely. While you managed to have some fun along the way, you worked very hard for 13 years to successfully complete your public school career. That has been attested to by every single speaker you, we've heard so far today. I personally enjoyed um, attending the Delta Scholars um, graduate or commencement, uh, induction ceremony actually, and I was able to participate and watch how the um, Alpha Achievers were so gentlemanly in everything they did all year. I, I enjoyed your production in the fall of um, Peter and the Star Catcher. How many, were any of you in that? Yes, a few. And at the dance festival, the countywide dance festival, I was just absolutely awestruck by the performance of your dance teams when you did one giant leap in which you impersonated Neil Armstrong on the moon. It was just fantastic. So, now you have to leave, and you want to leave. So many of you have plans to leave this nurturing community to pursue your dreams. As you do, 
Reach out to others as open-hearted as you have to each other here at Oakland Mills. But remember that you can pursue your dreams here in Howard County. So when you decide to settle down, preferably employed, come back. Join us, not as our children, but as our peers. Enrich our community with your new skills and your creative energies. But if you establish roots elsewhere, keep the community of Howard County in your hearts. Remember us as an extended family that valued each one of you. <sighs> and made your educational opportunity a number one priority. Wherever you go, reach out to the next generation of students. I'm sorry, it's like you're my children. <laughs> invest in them your tax dollars, but more important, invest your time and your many, many talents. So with your diploma, I hand you a charge. Continue this American tradition. Create a haven of safety and love where all children are treasured and where success in education is counted, just like I'll be giving you your diplomas, one OM scorpion at a time. Congratulations. Now let's begin. Kelly Andrade.
Well done, Kelly. Blaine Yoma Azris. Margaret Atridge. Isabel Hannah Bowen. Kyle James Hefflinger. Sophia Elizabeth Lloyd. Bren Caitlin Rhodes. Devon Robert Torrey. Kendall Alexander Adson. Danielle Nadina Flores. Catherine Elizabeth Tate Johnson. Micah David Lee. Angela Carolina Mancinas. Helen Virginia Mann. Kayla Rose May. Maria Oliveira Ramsey. Anna Julissa Reyes. Adrian Therese Goditu Sumalbach. Iris Maweka Wildman. Surya Alea Wright. Tommy Pei Zhang. Brianna Anda. Lene Shanye Barnhart. Ane Tatiana Jones. Miss French, please allow the following Howard County Public School System staff members to award their children's diplomas. Evelyn Shaberini of Deep Run Elementary School. Grace Shaberini. <laughs> Philip Fairbanks of Mary Hill Middle School. Nicholas Fairbanks. Marlene Fonseca, Jeffers Hill Elementary School. Carlos Fonseca Rodriguez. <laughs> Marilyn Lepore, Talbot Springs Elementary. Emma Lepore. <laughs> 
Juliet Casanova, Howard and Long Reach High Schools. Felicia Casanova, Howard. Thomas Monroe, Deep Run Elementary School. Theo Jack Monroe. Kevin Miller, Reservoir High School. Nicholas Miller. <laughs> Trisha Ovide, Lake Elkhorn Middle School. Kaitan Ovid. Sheila Renahan, Swansfield Elementary School. Adriana Renahan. <laughs> Kimi Hampton Titus, Stevens Forest Elementary. Marvin Titus. Ariel Miller, Guilford Elementary School. Ashara Wilson. Danya I. Abdo. Adama Abdul Lahi. Brandon Robert Abraham. Lauren Aya Tiffany Acholing. Christina Rosario Ako. Daryl Guy Addison III. Brian Afori Ajay Adu. Ryan Afori Ajay Adu. Luis Fernando Aguilera. Marilyn Giselle Afaro Hernandez. Claude Flora Aye. Daniel Santiago Arnedo Sierra. Eric Arroyo Rocha. Tanaya Linnell Askins. Grace Ann Avery. Madison Milan Badham. 
Damone Kayshawn Baker. Tobias William Baldwin. Kamasi Odell Kiyawani Bangudi Smothers. Eric Jefferson Barros. Mina Bayati. Sarah Zena Baby Bibi. Joshua William Beck. Joel Isaac Bernstein. Amanda Janelle Berrios. Christopher Damon Biggers. Anaya Monet Blackwell. Joseph Huli Bray. Haley Nicole Brecht. Justin Anthony Briones. Kania Lee Brummel. Vladimir Bruno. Tegan Lynette Riley Buddha. Christina Luis Bowie. Marquest Lee Bunch. Robert Kenneth Burgess. Jasmine Danya Canada. Ronald Eduardo Canales. Peter Cow. Jarrell Lamont Carmichael. Philip Mason Carroll. Lorenzo Antonio Carter. Amelie Rachel Casas Diaz. Bien Casa Cassius. Teresa Guadalupe Castillo Benitez. Estefany Castro Marino. Sean Melvin Chance. Anders Jasper Chayton. Kasana Samuel Chongo. Kelly Ann Claxton. Shantira Brianna Colbert. Dorian Alexander Cooper. Elijah Alexander Cordero. Daniel Matthew Crossland Francis. Christian Carlo Iana de Guzman. Michael Dagason. (laughs) 
Jose Fredis Diaz Castro. Danielle Maria Di Giuseppe. Makita Jung. Tania Michelle Douglas. Ronald Arlis Eating. Jaden Eskia Allen Ely. Susan Beatriz Escobar Medina. Alexander Estrada Avia. Kyle Robert Faraci. Maya Beatrice Farrow. Lena Alexandra Figaro Rosso. Nicholas Albert Fitzgerald. Janine Tere Floyd. Kayshawn Jason Franklin. Haley Marie Fuentes. William Gaither Jr. Zachary Thomas Gaither. Cameron Michael Grant. Samantha Marie Garcia. Mina Sarah Gaston. Ryan Matthew Gaddis. Alika Kawakahi Gibson. London Jewel Glenn. Benjamin Blake Goldfine. Mikai Devante Gomer. Noemi Gonzalez Martinez. Sridith Gora Pati. Tasia Arion Green. Harrison Bernard Greggs. Corey Griffin. Nashawn Groover. Mr. Hairston. Madeline Grace Harris. Ashley Bria Harvey. Luis Hernandez Jaramillo. Destiny Dibate Hemen. Alexander Perez Hickson. Paola Alexandra Hidalgo Reyes. Kayla Remy Higgins. Zachary Charles Higgins. Adelina Dana Halotti. Morris Samuel Hirsch. Zanai Sahar Hogan. Tamia Monet Hood. Sheila Estrella Horahan. 
Darian Latron Hunley. Deja Hippolyte. Sixtus Ijoma. Dane Addison Irby. Cameron Montel Jefferson Robinson. Aria Ariana Johnson. Brian Antonio Johnson. Kiera Nicole Johnson. Melissa Johnson Ariagada. Von D. Matthew Kai Kai. Mulba SK Kamara. Jade Christian Knight. Jory Nomu Kolibo. Darren Michael Kraus. Mame Efua Corten. Jose German Lero Santos. Ahmad Likil Lata. Timothy Andrew Lee. Alan Josue Limas. Natasha Morgan Lesh. Miguel Christian Lespierre. Burton Warmly Lewis the Fourth. Maria Carmen Lopez. William Wainwright Ma. Omar Malik. Kian Ewan Marsh. Jesus Antonio Matthew Perez. Ryan Russell McCardle. Kendall Aaron McFadden. Jason James McSweeney. Rafael Enrique Melgar. Daniel Anthony Mello. Nicole Marie Mazin. Nancy Judith Miranda. Andrea Lashonda Morris. Mercedes Margarita Munoz Hernandez. Imani Kwasi Musa. Jared Ann Wynn. Oscar Daniel Nunez Heidbrink. Beatrice Afria Otre Boltang. Beatricia Vilma Otre Boltang. Andrea Anaqua. Samuel Onuma.
Anthony Simba Ordonez Mejia. Selma Idalia Oriano Escobar. Joshua Pilati. Bethany Lynn Paloma. Andrew James Patterson. Jack Worcester Pazin. Sharon Maria Pearl. Alexander Nathan Pendergast. Dominic Bradley Piccolo. Vitor de Souza Emmanuel Pinto. <laughs> Julia Marie Pomerantz. <laughs> Vanessa Portuguese Zamora. <laughs> Kyra Alyssa Powers. Ryan Nicholas Preston. Billy Allen Quesenberry. Elizabeth Audrey Quinton. Joey Ramos Jr. Bilal Rashid. Cameron Alexis Reed. Corey Edward Reimer. Shallon Anton Robinson. Brendy Nicole Rodriguez. Michael Darius Rogers. Joshua Grant Rosenberger. Elijah Rucker. Barbara St. Philip. Oluwashion Shohumi. Remy Elena Sijiwade. Mariah Jasmine Simmons. Morgan Brooke Sinclair. Mickey Singh. Logan Carlos Smith. Daquan Smith. Jessica Marie Shostek. Aji Ida So. John Patrick Stafford. Kumasi Dean Stevens. Tanika Henriette Suggs. Brandon Tyler Sweat. Marisha Annika Tarrant. Haley Diana Terry.
Kari Jamil Thomas. Tavian Ahmad Tolbert. Tyrese Ali Tolbert. Julia Mitsuko True. An Trung. Zion Drabrell Turner. Taki Udan Uzman. Ashanti Lynette Veneer Waldron. Jada Inez Vaughn. Cameron Marquise Vereen. Nikasia Simone Awadi. Javon Ware. Jakaya Watts. Alan Weiss. Kishana Denaya Whitener. Eugene Gino Whiting. Xavier Delshawn Wilkes. Antoine Williams. Renico Lamont Williams. Summer LeMay Williams. Nora Yinmyant Win. Araya Janae Woodson. Samuel Allen Wolverton. Tynese Levon Worsley. Grace Oluwadami Lola, sorry, Yerokin. And Ethan Douglas Zavko. Good afternoon, parents, families, teachers, and graduates. My name is Maggie Attridge, and I've had the pleasure of serving as the Class of 2018 president for the past three years. It is with my honor to stand here today graduating with you all. At this time, would the Class of 2018 please stand with me and join me in turning up your tassels. Please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2018. We did it!